I've been asked several times, can you turn your nail polish into gel polish? But should you? Good question. Let's get started. Christine from Simply Nailogical released, this is her newest release. And she asks us a very important question. Yeah, it's very important. What's the question? Can you see a rainbow in the dark? Turns out you can. Ooh, I'm yeah. excited. So, ooh, this, I just want to get them on the table. So the big thing that I've noticed on TikTok, I think it's a trend that's happening right now, is turning your nail polish into a gel. Oh, like because, mixing it in? Yeah. Everybody loves Holo Taco. Have you ever tried Holo Taco? I have never tried Holo Taco. Oh, you're in for a treat. Okay. I love nail polish and gel polish has taken over. Of course, it was meant for natural nails. Okay. But gel polish is stays on a long time on natural it nails. Does. And that's the benefit of it. But nail polish stays on a enhancements just as long as yes. your whole fill. Mm -hmm. So that's why I love it. It has a lower profile. It's easier to put on. You don't need a light. Blah, 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 right? It's I just love it. So Hollow Taco has come up with a beautiful line. I It's one of my favorite lines right now. And whenever she puts it out, she doesn't put out gel polish. She just puts out nail polish. And lots of people want the gel. So what they're trying to do is turn their nail polish into a gel polish to get the longevity for it to last longer. Oh, but can Which you can sense. you do that chemically? Is that a good idea? I don't think so. Oh, but, uh, why we're going to do it, and then okay. we're going to chime in to a scientist who's going to help us decide if that's really a good idea or not. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a whole bunch of gel top coat, put it on a thingy or bowl or dish or whatever you're mixing it in. That's your gel top coat, right? Okay. What color do you want to mix? Oh, the green's pretty. The green's pretty. Green. I like the purple too. This I don't one? Know. Sure, whatever. That's more blue, isn't it? Let's, yeah. let's take this one. Okay. So then we're going to drop the nail polish. Oh. <gasps> Whoa. Okay, so that's that. Now let's pick up a gel brush. Actually, you paint, this was the color we used. You paint a coat on there, and okay. I'm gonna paint a coat on here. And what I'm trying to establish is, how much color do we lose? Interesting. Oh, am I doing this or this one? You're doing the nail polish. You oh, just, I'm doing the yeah, nail polish. Yeah, you just paint the nail polish. Oh, on. I'm painting the nail polish. Yeah. I got the instructions wrong. <laughs> Sorry, I probably was very listen clear. better. That's okay. Okay. Yeah, that was my fear, right? Oh. So I'm going to paint it on a little thicker and can see if I, I can get some color in there. in there, cameraman? Okay. See, look at the intensity of the color that you're getting there. That's much more intense, isn't it? Yeah. Interesting. So here's my gel, and I'm piling it on. And you're not getting the same opaqueness. No. You want to pile it on because so look you're at that. To color. We lose a lot of pigment. Okay, so you can see that I pile it on pretty good, but I can't get the color. Look at the no. difference. Yours is very translucent, and mine is very opaque. Yeah. Okay, so let's cure it. Not yours. Right. But let's cure this. Because if we do, I'll put a second coat on. Maybe it'll be... Now you put a second coat on that oh, one. Oh, okay. Your nail polish. It's not my best paint job, but it's okay. Yeah. No, that's okay. not on a client yet. No. <laughs> that's right. Look how beautiful that is. It's really pretty. That's the color you want. Very vibrant. Okay, so now we got a second coat on that. I'm just waiting for that one to mm -hmm. cure. And then we will put a second coat on that and see if it gives us a bit more color pigment. Mm -hmm. It might. I don't know. I, I doubt, but just for the sake of trying it, so we can completely rule it out 100% without guessing, right? Okay. Mm. Still pretty see-through, and I'm really piling it on thick. Both of these have two coats. The lighter one is just diluted with the gel polish. So if you're looking for a more see-through color, yeah, you could sacrifice that, but I wouldn't recommend it. Let's, let's tune into what 
the expert scientist has to say. This is a really interesting question on mixing gel and nail polish. From a safety standpoint, you can use uh, the gel and the nail polish together. If you use more gel, less nail polish, what you could get is a lack of curing when you, when you put it in the light and cure it up. You're safer if you use more nail polish, less gel, maybe 10, 15, possibly even 20% gel being put into the nail polish, mix that up, put it on the nail, and then cure it. You'll have more air dry component, less curing component, less potential for exposure to uncured gel. Oh, okay. I didn't expect that. Neither did I. I was, what a surprise. Yeah, we, All right. we can, it doesn't matter how long you've been doing nails. You can get educated about everything. We're so, always learning. Yep. That's cool. Okay. Good to know. Susie, I just appreciate you reaching out to me. You know you can reach out to me and ask me any question at any time. I'm always here for you. Awesome, Jim. That's great. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your advice on that. We all needed that. So what I learned is, thanks to Jim, is use less gel polish and way more nail polish, but still cure in the lamp for the gel component. Okay, here is my take on what you could do. This is Susie's hack? Yeah. Oh, you this can is Susie's hack. I've been doing this for years. Yes, you have. Years. You're the fairy godmother. Well, not nails so much. Yes, nails for years, but this <laughs> hack, my oh. hack. Oh, Oh. Of turning the nail polish into gel. I've been doing this for years. A client actually brought it to my attention. Oh, cool. <laughs> well, what is she, it? She had a favorite color that she liked, and when gel came in, it didn't come in gel. So then she says, well, can't you just throw a little top coat on there, a little gel top coat on there? And yeah. I, yeah, maybe we can. Why not? Why not? Let's try it. So yeah. the trick is you want the nail polish to... If you're going to be safe, 100% dry. Yes, 100% dry. Yeah. Or you even like, in my opinion, like 95% dry. I just did it on my toenails. I painted my toenails orange for fall, and I didn't have an orange gel polish, mm -hmm. so I just did a regular nail polish, and then I top-coated it with my gel top coat and put it in the light. And did it work? It works great. Let's see. It <laughs> works great. They're and orange. they didn't wrinkle? Nope. See, and that's the trick. Dry that's undercoat. Right. The dry and where did you undercoat. pick that up? Probably just, you. I don't know. Have you I done a video done it, on that before? I did do it once, but I mean, if you saw that, fine. But it is something you can easily figure out on your own. True. And you probably did. Well, and because I have like probably 200 nail polishes. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you I like think it's nails. a natural thing. I think that's why people are taking polish and mixing it in. Yes. Because we do a lot of mixing. They're mixing it in to get the same results, but you, you're you not getting the same results because it's not, not the at same all. intensity. But that's what I love about this hack. Paint the color that you like in its true color, like you did. And then almost like a protectant coat. That's what you're doing. Yeah. You're just simply putting a layer of gel to protect that coat on there. Mm -hmm. I will tell you, though, if you're doing frosted colors with any type of shimmer like that, they dry a little quicker than a cream. I had no idea. Mm -hmm. I had no idea. Yeah. Okay. So if you put a cream on, like, she, I have to say... Christine's polish dries really fast. Yes. So if you're going to use a cream, use it in a brand that does dry fast, but cream dries a little bit thicker and slower. So uh, if you're going to do a frost like this one and put a top coat on, you're going to cure it and on you go, and it can actually wrinkle up a few days later if you didn't let it dry. And yeah. I've seen, I've had that okay. before. Oh, I wondered why, because yeah. initially there was no wrinkle, and then a couple of days later, I'm like, did... Yeah, did, did I get you bump it wet? It? How did I do that? Like, it how could it wrinkle be... later? Yeah. yeah. I, oh, that confused me too. So that's what I learned really was, interesting because yeah. I was thinking, oh my goodness, I've applied this wrong. I've yep. not done something right. So I didn't know that. Yeah. That's really pertinent information if it, you're just starting. And you're right because the only thing you didn't do wrong was you just didn't wait for it to dry long enough. Yeah. So it can be misleading because this kind of polish can dry up real quick. Yes. But you'll do the same time frame with a cream and it'll wrinkle like crazy. And you're like, what? The stuff you don't know when you're yeah. starting. Just give the it a few more minutes know. to dry and you can do it with cream too. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to see. It might be not enough time because I'm very impatient. No, really? Yes. <laughs> it's not a very good. I'm not proud of that quality, but I am very impatient. So I am going to put this on here. Just a nice, normal, thin layer of gel top coat on top of your color. This is your reveal, right? That's your? Yes, reveal. yeah, that's right. And you just want to put a nice thin-ish top coat, like don't go crazy. It's Why does it do that where it's like? Probably maybe because it's not completely dry under there. Oh, <laughs> I wondered, it's like, 
Yeah, okay. Yeah. Sometimes it can separate a little bit if there's any oils and naturally nail polish is trying to dry. The polish is escaping and it's air drying and see now it's not doing it. Oh. It's probably because it's saying, I'm okay now, I'm dry. Oh. Impatient, oh. that's what I get for being impatient. So I'm just smoothing out any little bubbles that do want to come up. Man, that almost looks like chrome. That's so cool. Isn't it gorgeous? Yeah. Okay. Mm. Make sure I don't have any little separation. Okay, and then we're gonna cure it. Okay, so we just will cure that up and then we'll look at the other colors. Okay, yeah. Okay, I swatched them all. Look at how rich they oh we gotta add our There's little... the purple. <laughs> the Complete rest the of... rainbow. Yeah, thank you. I almost forgot that was in there. They're so decadent and the colors. Rich. Look at that. They're very nice. I love them actually. They're quite beautiful. Lovely. Well done, Hello Taco. Mm -hmm. Well done. Now you know a great polish line. Now I do know a great polish line. She's got line. tons too, and I'm so lucky that I get the lines. She sends them to me so I get to play with them and do this. Oh, yeah. You're, so an influencer. Yeah. you're an influencer. <laughs> okay, well, if you guys are interested in more Hollow Taco polishes, check out these videos.